The snow has come to an end and the warnings are dropping off the map rather quickly. 647. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Still a winter storm warning in effect for our portions of the state, northeast and southeast Connecticut, Wyndham and uh, New London counties, as well as Middlesex County. But those are expected to drop uh, within the next uh, half an hour to 45 minutes to an hour. A couple of snowflakes out there for you this morning. The big event has go is gone. As you can see here, we're going to take you on in and show you just a couple of snowflakes in Stafford and Tolland uh, right down I-84 there. You might be running into a couple of flurries, but for the most part, we are scanning the state dry right now. Most of the snow has moved on out. Now we can concentrate on the cleanup. It's going to be a nice day today. I know you're looking out the window going, oh my goodness gracious, inches and inches and inches of snow, but at least you're going to have a nice day to clean it up. The sun is going to come out and the temperatures are going to warm up into the upper 30s and low 40s. And then some cold weather is going to be moving in tomorrow. Woo, it's going to get cold around here and it's going to stay cold. Temperatures today trending into the upper 30s, low 40s. Notice the icons. They go over to partly, if not mostly, sunny skies by about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Same thing for the shoreline with temperatures topping out into the low 40s. So it looks like a nice day of weather coming up ahead. The storm, the system, winter storm wane. The precipitation has come to an end. The temperatures are hovering right around the freezing mark. A little bit warmer along the shoreline. That's where we had a little bit of a mix in parts of southeast Connecticut, New London County. You guys had some rain. There was even some rain reported in Middlesex County and New London counties along the immediate shoreline, but everybody else got snow. And snow measured up as much as 13, 14, 15 inches of snow. There is a bit of a breeze out there. 9, 13, 18 miles an hour system so that wind is picking up a little bit and that'll blow the snow off the trees and uh, off the power lines and uh, unfortunately we do have some power outages there for you it's a heavy wet snow now with the wind it does feel like it's in the upper teens and low 20s so uh, we've got this reinforcing shot of cold air and this is where our cold air is coming from it is going to be a cold week and for more on the cold let's send it on over to melissa cole who's standing by in the early warning uh, forecast center for more on this melissa good morning hi there scott yeah this is really the last day that we're going to see in the 30s, believe it or not, because we've got some cold air. You can see it just off to our north and west. This is going to be kind of filtering on in and settling across the northeast. We might not see numbers quite as cold as nine below where it is right now in Minneapolis, but we're certainly going to see single digits and teens for the coming days. I mean, it looks gorgeous right now from our ICAM in New Haven. Roads are looking clear, so that's some good news. The sun should be out in a couple of hours. ICAM in New London, where they also had some rain. You can see things are clearing up there. And traveling along Route 9 looks okay right now from our ICAM in Middletown. The snow is gone. The storm has moved on out, so that's some good news. Folks off to our north still dealing with it, coming down at a good clip. But for us here in Connecticut, we are done with any accumulating snow. There may be a passing flurry at times today, tomorrow, and even on into Wednesday, but that's about it. And you can see that here on Futurecast as we take a look at tomorrow's weather today. It's just some scattered light flurries, 1 o'clock this afternoon, most of them off to our north. As we go on through the rest of today, again, basically quiet weather conditions. Tonight, we'll drop down into the single digits and teens for overnight lows. And throughout the day tomorrow, partly sunny skies. And again, slight chance of a passing flurry. So temperatures, Futurecast. 2 o'clock this afternoon, temperatures in the mid, perhaps upper 30s. We may touch 40 today, but then that's it. The cold air filters on in here overnight, waking up to about 9 in Enfield, 12 in Putnam, 19 in Chester tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow afternoon, all we're going to manage for daytime highs are temperatures in the 20s, and with a breeze, it's going to feel even colder than that. Scott, that cold air sticks around for a few days. It certainly does. Take a look at the seven-day forecast. It is going to be cold out there for this week. Get out there and bundle up. Grab your winter woolies. I know it's the beginning of March, but it's going to feel like January around here.